Hello and welcome to Pilates Planks. My name is Adriana Lee with Neora Fit, and today I'll be guiding you through a quick workout primarily focused on strengthening your shoulders, your core, but we'll also get into quads a bit too. So no props are needed for today's practice. Just grab your yoga mat, put on some music to keep you motivated, and we'll get started right away. We'll begin today's practice in cat cow. So make your way onto hands and knees in a tabletop position. Stack your hands right under your shoulders and knees right under your hips. As you inhale, drop your belly towards the mat, reach your chest forward, gaze up, and exhale, press the earth away, round your spine and draw your navel upwards. Inhale, drop your belly, chest forward, squeeze your shoulder blades together and down your back. And exhale, round out your spine, push through the tops of your feet. One more round, inhale, drop your belly. And exhale, round your spine. And we'll come back into cow pose for just a moment. Drop your belly towards the mat, chest forward. Now curl your toes under and squeeze the heels of your hands and your knees toward each other. Keep sending the heart forward, squeeze the shoulder blades together and down your back and maybe even hug in through inner thighs. One more inhale. And exhale, come back into a neutral tabletop. From here, extend your right leg straight back behind you and your left arm forward with your palm facing in. We'll go into bird dog lifts. So from here, lift your arm and leg just to the same height as your spine and then tap back down. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Good, this is four, we're going to 10. Now as you lift, notice if you're dropping your weight into the shoulder joint, the right shoulder joint, or the left hip joint. And if so, engage your core and push the ground away just a little bit more. Last three, two, and one. Awesome, switch sides. So now left leg goes straight back, reach your right arm forward, inhale, and exhale, lift the arm and leg, and lower. Go ahead, keep pressing the earth away, especially through the right, shin and the left palm. That's five, halfway there. Good, last three, two, and one. Awesome, great job. Take a moment, roll out your wrists if you need. Now, as we get into our plank series, um, I'll be timing us. We've got three regular planks. If being on hands, is uncomfortable for your wrists, then switch to forearms instead. You're still gonna get the same workout. All right, let's get into our very first plank. So hands under shoulders, walk your feet back and press the earth away. At the same time, squeeze the heels of your hands and your toes toward each other the same way that we did in cow pose so that you feel your core engage. Already halfway there. Good, 10 seconds left. I like to send the tailbone down towards the heels a little bit. That helps me engage my core even more. Ooh, last three, two, and one. Lower your knees down to the ground. And from here, we've got reverse Nordics. So arms across your chest. We're just going to five this time. Keep your body in one line from the knees to the shoulders. Drop back and then press yourself back up. Two. Three, it should feel like your quads are engaged, but also in a stretch. Last two. And last one. Good, back into our plank. All right, hands down, walk your feet back. This plank hold is a 60 second plank hold. Obviously you're more than welcome to take breaks as you need, but I do encourage you to push yourself through it. And again, if your wrists are bothering you, come down to forearms instead. We're already one third of the, or one fourth of the way in. Squeeze the heels of your hands and your toes toward each other and lift your armpits away from the ground. Halfway there. Focus on your breath. I like to push through toes to lift the heels pretty high. That helps your legs take over some of the weight from the shoulders. You got 15 seconds left, almost there. Last 10, five more seconds, you got this. Last four, three, two, and one. Lower your knees down, sit back up, and now we've got eight reverse Nordics. So arms across your chest, lean back, 
push into the tops of your feet and come back up. Another option is to curl your toes under. That can kind of help um, give you a little bit of momentum on the way up. This is four, you're halfway there. Four more. Last three. Last two, avoid your hips coming back further than your shoulders. Try to keep that one long line, last one. And 90 seconds in plank. So get into your plank, walk your feet back, and then push the ground away. 90 seconds sounds like it's a long time, but it's only a little bit more than what you've already done. It's just your first two blanks combined. Now for this one again, keep hollowing out the underarms by lifting away from the ground. One thing to watch for is what's happening in your neck. We're not trying to crane the neck and add unnecessary pressure, but we also don't wanna dump the head down. You just wanna keep your head in one long line with your spine. You're already 35 seconds in, not too much longer to go. Squeeze in through your front ribs and through your belly. You're at 50 seconds, so 40 seconds to go. Again, you can always take a break if you need. 30 seconds left, you can do it. Stay with your breath. Twenty seconds left, almost there, keep breathing. 15 seconds, you're so close, don't quit now. 10 seconds left, you can do this. Five, four, three, two, one. Set your knees down, awesome. Arms back across your chest, 10 reverse Nordics. Lean back and push yourself back up. Good, keep your core squeezed in. That's gonna help you avoid dumping into low back. You can even bring one hand to belly, one hand to low back to try to keep everything contained or to use it as like a reminder to keep things contained. Five more. Last three. Last two. And last one. All right. Come onto your right forearm for side, arm, side plank. So for this, um, I will have you on forearms. We've been on hands quite a bit. We're gonna start with 30 seconds in side plank. Then you'll come down to a forearm plank. And to get into hip twist, you'll drop hip, um, your hips down to either side. All right, so let's get this timer started. Come up onto your right forearm and lift your hips up. So options to modify here, you can set your left foot in front of you like a kickstand, again, so that your legs can take a little bit of the weight, or you could lower your right knee down to the ground. Now we're already halfway there. <laughs> Stay with your breath. Keep pressing down through the right forearm to lift your ribs up. Five seconds left. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Now come straight down onto forearms and into your hip twist. So drop the right hip and left hip. Stay with your breath. And you're almost like rainbowing the hips side to side rather than just dropping down and keeping everything low. Halfway there. 10 more seconds. Press down through your forearms. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Lower your knees down, come back up to a seat. And then we'll do the other side. So now come on to your left forearm. And same thing, timer starting now. Lift up your hips. Hand can come to your hip, can go up into the air, just wherever is most comfortable. Press down through the left forearm to lift your ribs high away from the ground. And again, if on the other side you didn't need or want a modification, but now you do, the foot can come in front or you can lower your left knee down. Almost there, five seconds left. And then straight back into those forearm hip twists, two and one. So both forearms down and then twist side to side. 
I like hands together and a fist here, but you can come to a number 11 shape or whatever works for your body today. Hands clasped is a little bit easier. Good, keep going side to side, last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, back onto the right side. This time we're going into a modified side plank with leg lifts. So for this, you'll be down on the right hand and the right knee, and you'll be doing leg lifts with the left leg. Now we're just going to 10 of these. When you're ready, lift and lower, lift and lower. Good, that's three. Keep squeezing in through your core. Four, five, and your leg just needs to lift to about the height of your hip, maybe a little bit higher if you'd like. This is eight, nine, and last one, 10. Awesome job, switch sides. Left hand down, left knee down. Find that solid side plank shape and then lift the right leg and lower. Good, two, three, four. Keep squeezing in through your core. Five, we're halfway there. Six, seven, eight, last two, and last one. Awesome. Back to the right side, hip dips. So we'll come onto the forearm, extend your legs out, and then lift your hips away from the ground and drop back down. We're gonna do that for 10. If you need to modify, left foot in front for a little bit of support. All right, when you're ready, inhale and exhale, begin. Lift your hips up, inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Good. Three, keep squeezed in through your core. Four, five, six, lift the ribs even higher. Seven, eight, nine, and very last one, 10. Awesome, switch to your other side. And this is the very last thing until cool down. <laughs> so left forearm down, legs straight out, inhale to prepare, and exhale, lift up. Good, lower and lift, lower and lift. Three, four, five, we're halfway there. Six, seven, eight, last two. Awesome, and last one. Great job. All right, come back to hands and knees for our cool down. We'll go into puppy pose. So from a tabletop position, keep your hips over your knees. Walk your hands forward and let your chest drop down towards the ground. Maybe your forehead can rest against the ground. Press down through the tops of your feet so that you can draw your belly button in a little more. One more breath here. And then lift your chest back up, walk your hands back under your shoulders and find a comfortable seat, whatever that means for you. Deep breath in, open your arms out into a T. And as you exhale, take your right arm across, use your left arm to pull it in. And reach your arms back out, inhale. And exhale, left arm across, right arm pulls it in. One last stretch here, inhale, arms all the way up. Pat yourself on the back with your right hand and use your left hand to guide the elbow back, opening up your triceps. Deep breath into your chest. Exhale, guide the elbow back. Inhale, both arms back up. And exhale, pat yourself on the back with the left hand. Use the right hand to press the elbow back. Deep breath in, lift your chest. And exhale, press your arm back. All right, release your arms back down. <sighs> that is it. I hope that you enjoyed this workout. My name again is Adriana Lee with Neora Fit, and I hope to see you on the mat again soon. Namaste.